the, the, the masculine urge, no, that, no, scratch that one out. The, the, the feminine urge, no, no, scratch that one out too. The human urge is to yearn for the existence of dragons. We all feel it. You know, if Romeo had just cried on Juliet's corpse for a couple hours instead of drinking poison right then, they would have been fine. The moral of the story is, always take time to cry for a few hours before making important decisions. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. You made me download Tumblr. I hope you're happy. A new hand touches the clown beacon. Yeah, convert your vision to 144p. Hey, give me my glasses back, jerk! If a werewolf dies, but they were an organ donor, does someone get a kidney that turns into a wolf kidney once a month? Imagine having a feeling of pure bloodlust radiate from one side of your mid-back approximately every 28 days. Bro, I don't need to imagine. What? Middle of the night cat petting makes you feel like a better person. He followed me into my room, and the pain of the world is healed. Now that's wholesome. Have we checked on the Loch Ness Monster lately? What if she's still down there and feeling lonely? Oh my god. Andy, quick! Pull me to submarine! Throw me into the lake, let's go! I don't know my mutual's names. They're simply their URL that I read wrong. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, uh, free augs? Free augs? Free augs. I love how this whole new people coming to Tumblr now situation has exactly the vibe of Strange showing up in the saloon of an old western town and stepping on the creaking floorboard. Now I'm sure they met a stranger, but I also was thinking of Oddworld Stranger's Wrath, if everyone remembers that game. Pretty sure this scene happened, who knows, could be wrong, could be right, who's to say? Everyone in Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never want to know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. These were ghost written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Writing is not about telling an epic story or making something that will outlive you. Writing is about going, hey, you know what would be fucking awesome? And then committing word crimes. <laughs> I made a new rule. Never trust how you feel about your entire life past 9 p.m. Okay, but according to my therapist, there's literally scientific reasoning for this. It depends on your circadian rhythm. But on average, after 9 p.m., your emotions are just more sensitive than during the day. You shouldn't have conversations dealing with conflict after 9. You shouldn't engage with potentially triggering content after 9. And you sure as hell shouldn't trust your own judgment after 9 p.m. Just consider your brain done. Either do something to make yourself happy, or go to sleep if you can. Yeah. Every other time I boot up a Steam game, one of my Steam friends messages me telling me to fuck off. And I'm always confused at first. But then I remember what my profile is right now. <sighs> Genius. Okay, well, th this needs the jump scare, I guess. Um, uh, and you just... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Make it the weakest sounding jump scare ever. Go. You ever delete an OC in your game because the game AI decided to try to take control and make its head cannon for your character's cannon? Like, bitch, I think not. Bro, I don't even care anymore. Fuck it. Continues to try very hard. Okay, my entire experience with all the dragon. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> <laughs>